Crime Insider sources tell me that teen from Chesterfield County had just arrived at that house, house in South Richmond on Terminal Avenue about 20 minutes before shots rang out, and he became the city's 30th homicide victim of 2023. The continuous gun violence is triggering a community response. And Councilwoman and Public Safety President Reva Trammell says citizens are getting frustrated because they believe repeat offenders are getting arrested and released. It's not even a few hours later and they're back on the street again. And they were like, really? So what, what is, what's going on with the, I guess, the, the Commonwealth attorney, the judges? Because that's what people ask me. Our officers are doing their job. Late Tuesday night in her district, sources tell me a 17-year-old boy was shot and killed in the 2400 block of Terminal Avenue. Crews back on scene cleaning up blood Wednesday. Earlier Tuesday afternoon, my sources tell me a gunfight broke out in the 3200 block of Watson Avenue. No one hit, but during the chaos, a man was run over by a car twice. He's taken by ambulance to a nearby hospital with life-threatening injuries. Even if they're under 18, still... And you put them back out in the street so they can do it again and, and nothing happens to them. So they figure, hey, why not? Why not? I'm sick and tired of them thinking that they're going to run our 8th district in our city because this is wrong. And the why doesn't even matter because it won't change anything. But the who has to be held accountable. Dimitri Simmons was murdered in Fairfield Court last year on May 6th. Her friend Jamorlo Butler also shot and killed. Multiple families still grieving, still waiting for answers, and with all the recent violence in the city to include 68 shootings in 2023, Simmons' mom says they feel like their case is being put on the back burner as detectives battle a bulging caseload. Every time another homicide in the city occurs and our detective gets assigned, we get buried further down the project path. My daughter is more than a project. My daughter is worth somebody giving the extra time. Hey, Leland and Julie, in the Simmons murder, the family is offering an $11,000 reward as far as last night's homicide police are still investigating. Reporting in South Richmond, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.